Hello guys, I'm Sarah from 190 and this is my freaking channel and I'm glad that you guys are here today because I have an epic tutorial to show you guys and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so this is a sorting device and it's pretty epic guys because it lets you know when your chest is full or when it's empty or vice versa. It can, it can only turn off if it's completely empty but if you change the settings a little bit, which is very versatile you'll be able to do this real quick, watch this. If you want to change the settings, you can. And there you go, it lights up letting you know that there is items in each one of these chests. But when you take an item out of each one of these chests, the light goes out. Good night. But if you want it to only light up if the chest is full, all you need to do is get out some comparators and break them and put a block down and put the comparators back and now it's changed the settings so now these lights won't come on unless the chests are absolutely full if you like to keep your chest full in your survival this is probably the setting you'll have it on damn it and there you go guys it's pretty sick and when you throw the items down uh, when that chest gets full it will move over to the next chest and into the next chest so you can always have And there you go, that would put hairs on anyone's chest, guys. Wow. Fill this up, it will move over to the next chest, lighting up the next one. So if you'd like to know how this is built, let's just build it then, shall we? We're gonna need two different types of chests, a trap chest and a regular a regulator chest chest. We need a redstone comparator and repeaters. We also will need hoppers and a redstone block and lamps. So let's get going guys. So what you want to do is get two lines out like so and this is where we're gonna put our glowstone. So there's about four, uh, four, four across. You can go as long as you want guys. So I chose four. So I'll go four o'clock across. <laughs> oh my god. And then I'm gonna put some repeaters down like this on both sides. Okay so that's pretty simple so far guys. Now what you want to do is put a block of choice on the top and get out a chest, a double chest by crouch placing. You'll notice that you can't put two chests side by side. Hence the reason why we will skip a block and use trap chests in between. So this way you actually can squeeze in more chests like that. And this is pretty good. Okay guys, now that you have that completed, you want to break those original blocks away then you want to come around down, down here and put a block on top of every one of these repeaters now that you've done that you want to come up here and put your comparators facing out now this is on the first setting and you want to put sticky pistons by crouch placing upside down by those repeaters and put some redstone blocks underneath there you go it's very simple and don't worry about that there guys, there's nothing to see here. That was a previous build. Okay, so now it should look like this. So what you want to do is crouch place your hoppers into your chest. Come one out so you can put one up in the air like that and break the one under it. Simply so that you can have them crouch placing into each other like this. Now you have this pattern going on. Just simply break the one on the end. And it should look like this guys. to the next setting just break these repeaters I mean comparators and then place them back down the same way facing out like that so now these lights won't turn on unless these chests are absolutely full and that's so simple guys it's so simple and see so when you put an item in it will light up to let you know what chest the item went into and when that chest is full the item will start to go over into the next chest Okay, so this chest is now full. Well, on the first setting, it only needs to have one item in there. Okay, so on this setting, it absolutely has to be full for the light to work. So 